từ quý khán thính giả à, một lần nữa Christine xin cảm ơn quý vị thật nhiều à, đã giữ màn ảnh của đài truyền hình vì hải ngoại và tiếp tục theo dõi chương trình up close and personal với Christine. I was so grateful that Dustin Win um, opened up to me in this interview so much, but I also took the chance to ask him some very, very basic questions, silly questions even. I was dying to know his favorite things, and of course, to make it a little fun, I had asked him to answer as fast as possible. Here's what came of it. <laughs> uh, off the top of my head, uh, one from you two. Yeah, love that song. Very good choice. Five. Favorite food is five. I could eat that all day. <laughs> Black. <laughs> If I were an animal, uh, I'd probably be a koala bear. Uh, it sleeps all day. <laughs> a koala bear. I don't know how I got the koala bear. Well, it actually is it's the only time I've ever done a, a, a commercial and um, it's one of my favorite things that I've done, you know, it's uh, the Levi's commercial was was d designed for um, the international campaign and it's the first time they've used an Asian person as their sort of spokesperson and it was a nice little tribute to Bruce Lee and the 70s kung fu movies and um, And I had a great time. I did it, and 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 it's to this day, you know, so many people have seen these commercials, and uh, and you know, Katie uh, is in it as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Katie Lung, right? Yes, yeah. Katie Lung. So we got two Vietnamese in these commercials, and uh, and it became. I think it got voted as one of the best commercials of of the year at the time. <laughs> But uh, I I just had a great time uh, doing it. It's kind of like a short little film. It's not your typical commercial. You know, I remember when I actually didn't want to go out and audition for it because. Uh, I thought it was some silly, you know, Bruce Lee mocking thing, and and it took forever for me to to meet with the director, who Jonathan Glazer, mm -hmm. who's the top of his field, and uh, and then I realized, you know, what a piece of art it was going to be, because it's going to be like this short film, and because uh, I thought it was going to, you know, they're going to ask you to do all these ching chong and ah, you know, all this silly Bruce Lee stuff, but as I, I thought it was just a, a, a great homage. To to Bruce Lee and the and the genre of kung fu chop sake movie. <laughs> Very nice. Do yeah. you? Besides We're both Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Thais, there's um there's something I, I want to tell you, and I'm just gonna be straight up because that's the kind of guy that I am. All right. It's that. Uh, it's, it's that I'm. Normally, kind of a cautious guy when it comes to women, and uh, I mean, I, I just don't leap in, and I ain't gonna be played for no fool for love. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, there's just something about you, Thais. I feel something very real here, and uh, it's like I'm ready to just leap, you know? Thais? You know, what I like to share with, with Asian American artists are, I think the most important thing is for my own journey anyway, which is 
you have to, uh, uh, most important thing, you have to know why um, you want to be in the arts. I think, I think that's, that's an underestimated uh, question because um, people want to get in the arts for various reasons and, and it's very important that, you, that your heart's in the right place and, and art is, is uh, you know, a, a, a journey in the art, the field of the arts are, are certainly not one of, of security and one of, of support. Certainly if you're Asian American, chances are your family is not very supportive. Uh, so it's important that you know why you're doing it. What I'm getting to is you have to do it for the right reason. You have to love what you're doing because mm -hmm. uh, you need to express yourself, whether you want to be a painter or a singer or an actor, uh, because you have this dying need to uh, express yourself and to share the human experience. And then secondly, what I've learned is you have to have this, this once you figure that out, if that's what, why you're really doing it, you have to have this unwavering self-belief in yourself, which is the only way you can go through this journey because it's full of heartbreaks and it's full of rejections and it's, you know, there are a lot of people that tell you, you know, you shouldn't be doing it or you don't have the talent or you, or, it, or it's difficult and you never make it, you know, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. And you have to, you have to uh, uh, not pay a any attention to that, you know. And uh, you almost have to be insane. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you have to believe in yourself. You know, you have to believe in yourself, no matter what. You gonna you gonna pursue what your heart desires. You know, which is this 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 desire to share the human experience and to express it in a, an artistic form. And really, that's what it's all about. And 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 you actually don't know. Sometimes you think you know why you're doing it, but you need to sort of go through this journey, whether it takes you three years or five years to realize this is not for me, you know? Uh, and you know that quickly, if it's for you or not, because, uh, because it's just full of, of hardship. But my advice is you really got to believe in yourself, and you got to, and, and the third, where you have to really take it seriously and treat it as a, a uh, uh, you have to study, you have to prepare yourself, you have to learn everything you need to learn. No different than if you want to be a doctor, you got to go to medical school, medical school. You know, a lot of people think, I want to be an actor, I want to be a singer, and, and, but they don't want to study and they don't want to train. And, and to me, that's silly because you have to, it takes a lot of work. Um, and you have to take it seriously in order to have a, a career if you're lucky. You know, you can, you can certainly get lucky and get on a TV show or have one song that becomes a hit. And we've all seen that. And then, and then people forget about you, that, you know after that because you don't have any longevity because you don't have any there's, there's no foundation behind you you know your craft has to be very solid because the competition is so fierce mm -hmm. you know you you I've, I've always felt I put the pressure on myself you know if I want to go out there and compete and I have to be 10 times better than your average performer out there certainly you know your sort of average Caucasian mm -hmm. white skin performer because I have to be ten, I can't be just as good as they are. I have to be ten times better, because the odds against me are much higher. But the point, I guess, my advice is you really have to 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 keep those three things in mind. Thank you. And I encourage you to pursue the arts if that's what you, where your heart is, because I think that's a it's a beautiful thing. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I had a great time, and uh, thank you for thank you for having me. And can uh, uh, you Kính thưa quý khán thính giả, um, cũng như Christine đã thưa với quý vị là uh, Christine đã ái mộ anh uh, nam tài tử Dustin Nguyễn rất lâu cho nên bữa đó khi mà um, có được một dịp uh, phỏng vấn anh ấy thì Christine rất tò mò và như quý vị cũng đã thấy có rất nhiều câu hỏi um, và Christine cũng thật là vui là anh, uh, anh Dustin đã trả lời hết tất cả những gì mà Christine uh, hỏi anh ấy um, Có thể nói là À, nhiều người fan lúc mà gặp người mà mình ái mộ thì có lúc có thể bị thất vọng nhưng mà trong trong trường hợp này thì Christine có thể nói à, thật là không bị thất vọng. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I was absolutely not disappointed when I met uh, and Dustin Wing and I've been a fan of his for so long that I had all these questions built up and he so graciously answered everything um, and really left me something to think about. So. What a great interview. 
Um, we are out of time. We have to we have to stop our program for this week. But of course, again, I invite you to join me for next time uh, on Up Close and Personal. Thưa quý vị, chúng tôi phải uh, kết thúc chương trình. Nhưng một lần nữa, Christine xin cảm ơn quý vị thật nhiều đã dành thời giờ um, cùng chia sẻ những câu chuyện này với Christine. Và xin hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong tuần sau.